Hey guys, it's Zan, and welcome to another TTYD example. Today I'm talking about an incredible new way to teleport a room early with tube mode found by Solidified Gaming. This trick saves almost an hour over the previous English route by skipping most of Chapter 4 and all of Chapter 6, therefore skipping the Ultra Boots. It also skips the need for Miss Mouse since our current method for tech storage no longer works since we don't have the Ultra Boots. Here's the trick in real time. Tube mode TRE can be broken down into three sections. First, Mario needs to be in a state known as tube storage. Then we need to press a bunch of buttons on an exact frame and finish by unpausing on a pretty lenient frame window. This trick can be incredibly difficult, so I would suggest mastering each section individually to learn the muscle memory before trying to put it all together. Step one is tube storage. Tube storage can be thought of charging up a tube mode to just before the point Mario turns into a tube. This is possible since the amount we spin the stick during valid states doesn't reset until we do certain actions. To store tube mode, we need to spin the stick while holding R to the point just before Mario turns into tube mode. We want this so that when we land from a jump holding R and up, we immediately turn into a tube. Spinning the stick faster or slower will alter the amount of spins needed. To tell if you have tube mode stored, jump while holding a direction and R. When you land, you should immediately turn into tube mode. Personally, I like spinning the stick slowly since a slow spin requires almost exactly three full rotations to enter tube mode. Going slow allows for more control when spinning, and I find it results in higher consistency rates. I spin the stick to just before three full rotations and then let go of R. Once you have two storage mastered, the next challenge waiting for you is the three button inputs on a single frame. The second section of this trick is pretty dumb, but also amazing. This section is incredibly difficult due to the coordination and precision needed. The objective of this section is to hit start, A, and B while holding up and R on the frame before Mario lands from his jump. This will trigger a sequence of events that when we unpause, Mario will unroll from tube mode while walking through the door. This will displace Mario's coordinates and change his angle while leaving tube mode, walking him inside the teleporter room instead of the bar. To get a feel for this section, let's start with the basics. I would suggest learning this section without tube storage first, as there's quite a lot going on. The first thing we need to grasp is the timing of the inputs. To learn this timing, I suggest we leave the R input alone for now and just focus on the up, start, A, and B inputs. Start by lining yourself up on the right side of the door. I'll mention why the right side later. From here, move down a bit so we can jump. Now while holding up, jump, and the frame before Mario lands, press start, A, and B. If done correctly, you will see Mario hammer before the pause screen shows up. When you unpause, you should see Mario hammer and then enter the bar. Lots of TTYD runners have sent me their controller grips for this setup, and the key is to find one you like or invent your own. Ed58 and Max Hillman use a thumbless stick strategy where the left hand, middle, or ring fingers are pressing up on the stick, left index finger presses start, and their right hand presses A and B with the thumb, and the right index finger holds R. Beneve uses a strategy known as the dextral grip, where the left hand sits normal with the thumb on the analog stick. The right hand uses the pinky to press R, ring finger on A, middle finger on B, and the index finger on start. Evan44 uses a similar strategy where the left hand is normal, and the right hand uses the ring finger on R, middle on A, index on B, and thumb on start. Soric, Red to Go, and myself use a controller reset strategy so we don't have to worry about holding up. By pausing, holding down, and resetting the controller, the neutral position of the stick will have Mario walking up. This allows us to only focus on four buttons instead of five. 
You can also hold down after the controller reset to have Mario stand still and then release when you're ready. Without needing to worry about holding up, we can hold the controller with our left thumb on start, right thumb on A and B, and right index on R. Once you have the timing on a comfortable grip, add in the R input. Adding in the R input will have Mario walk into the bar in paper mode once we unpause. With the R press, we cannot see if our B press is accurate as being in paper mode doesn't allow us to hammer, so it's important to know the timing beforehand. Once you feel comfortable with that, you can add tube mode storage into the mix. When you add tube mode into the equation, you will see Mario disappear when you pause if you have it right. However, before you start these attempts, I'm going to talk about the unpause. The unpause is objectively the easiest part of this trick since the frame window is so lenient, but being under pressure of success can make it really easy to choke it. It's around a 10 frame window to hit, being further right on the door increases this window. The window starts 12 frames after you see the journal tab stop moving. This is just under a second after the pause. The reason why being further right on the door increases this frame window is because you end up further towards inside the teleporter room when you hit the ground, when you unroll. So there's more possible camera angles that let Mario make it to the teleporter room. It should be noted that when you enter a new room, the first pause in that room will have a bit of lag. So when you're doing this trick, if you get this trick on your first pause, anticipate a little bit of lag for this unpause. Now I'm going to talk about the things that can go wrong. This trick is very, very difficult, and due to how many components there are, there are multiple ways this trick can go wrong, and all of them have different outcomes. If you land every button but the A button with tube storage, Mario will unroll in front of the door. If you land every button except the B button with tube storage, Mario will enter the bar in tube mode. If you land every button except the pause, you will enter tube mode in front of the door. If you land only the pause with tube mode, you will unpause and be in tube mode. If you land only the B button with tube mode, you will be in tube mode in front of the door. If you land only the A, or A and B, with or without tube mode, you will walk into the bar normally. If you land every button but don't have tube mode storage, you will pause and enter the bar in paper mode. If you land only the B without tube mode, you will paper mode in front of the door. If you land the A and the pause without tube storage but miss the door, Mario will jump left in paper mode. If you miss all inputs and do not have tube storage, Mario will be in front of the door in paper mode. The last way that you can get this trick wrong is if you unpause too early or too late. Either result will end up putting you underneath the bar instead of in the teleporter room. <gasps> no! No way! No way! No, 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 wait! No, I didn't get it. Did I? It's also possible to have Mario unroll and walk into the bar if you unpause too late. Well, that's all for Tube Mode TRE. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash shout out to Solidified Gaming for finding such a cool trick. I hope you guys had a good day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!